doing a little bit more rocky road i've looked ahead at a few of the levels and some of the late game levels of this seem extremely cool just a little preview there's a level with a freaking spaceship so let's hop into this all right so anyways this level's kind of interesting the tables have turned the tow trucks now need to be towed they have a speed of zero meters per second which means we must attach them to i guess this th thing that this bulldozer is pushing and pull them along so now we are towing the tow trucks let's go all right so let's build a bridge off the grid since it looks like it doesn't line up with the grid we got forty thousand dollars to do this so i can't imagine this is too bad here's what i'm just gonna do i'm just gonna simply attach the balls together with rope and we'll see if it works i mean they're gonna roll at least i hope they will i'm just gonna do a very simple under over anyways i built this little bridge here you've seen bridges like this before i don't know what to expect all right so it does move the rope is almost breaking but it doesn't break so i feel like there's a no 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 oh no wow what what i'm so confused i don't know it I mean, okay, I, I gotta start applying something. All right, so if I want it to be front heavy, here's what I gotta do. I've got to add weight. So I'm gonna add like steel to this, a bunch of polygrams, just, oh, but this has gotta rotate, right? This is gonna rotate, isn't it? Yeah, and then it's even heavier and, well, it's sliding. Does that change anything? Oh, no! All right, so this kind of helped a little bit. What if I what if I just add more without any concern for the tow trucks? Force is being applied upwards. All right, well, how do I have it not do that? The tow truck be tilting. Wait, this is fine? Maybe? Um, you know, we haven't lost yet. Yo, it's stabilized. Can it actually make it up though? We had to deal with two weird angle changes and that's pretty stressed and these weigh something so it's gonna break but you know what that's our best yet i'm gonna have to speed that the hell up though all right so first thing first i'm gonna make this a muscle i don't think i'll actually need to do the same on the other side i really don't but yeah now it's a muscle we're gonna turn this up to 300 percent speed so we can watch this go oh you know what the rope does get a little stressed but it's not unbearable i mean there's a chance <laughs> <laughs> it's possible oh wait oh come on please don't break on me random steel piece down here you're so good <gasps> no the cable broke wait that's wait the rope broke it's just the rope this could be remedied for sure we've got this this is looking clean unless there's a butterfly effect but i don't see why there should be or open cable or functionally similar it's just cable stronger all right I, I like this a lot can we bring it home whatever weight we added to the front ball sh certainly helped oh and look at that we make it to our goal not a bad level i was worried that was going to be extremely challenging but i uh I, it was still moderately challenging i love the challenges level had to offer all right, next level. This is what I was excited for. I've done an equivalent of this in Polybridge 1, but I'm excited to do it for Polybridge 2. The meteor shower. We start the level and there's falling blocks from the sky. And before you ask, yes, those can destroy your bridge. So you must construct a bridge that is meteor proof, AKA we probably need gaps. So I need a road that goes to exactly here and hope that doesn't skim it. We could uh, actually dodge that's gonna be pretty hard. I could create like a safety net up here. It looks like all horizontal stuff is covered. So unless if I want to create like a freaking swing across this gap, I kind of want to create a swing across the gap. So here's what I'm thinking. It gets a little bit of air in the beginning or a little bit of height. And then we just set up a giant structure, just have it swing across to the flag here. So the good news is meteors only kill roads and they don't care about other um type of they, they just don't care about other materials so i could build all the steel i want over here and we'll just do a steel toothpick and then i don't have a brace over here but it's fine i could just wall brace it myself and then i don't know how i want to support this i guess like so then i'd have to like muscle down here because i'm sure that weight is going to be an issue best swing in poly bridge all right let's see if it's anywhere close oh right we just have to thread the needle. 
I feel, I feel like this isn't gonna work. It is crazy though how the meteors don't actually... Okay, it's really interesting that the meteors don't like smash the roads. They're like not as heavy as I thought. So maybe, maybe this isn't as bad as I thought. Maybe I just need to build a really strong bridge. We're gonna clear this all. We're just gonna build this up. We might have like springs of shock absorbers, but I feel like a bunch of steel could get the job done too. All right, so some unders. Now I'll do this truss. All right, so let's see. Does this support the falling things? No, actually that fails horribly. Whoops. What I almost want to try is like flipping this vertically. Uh, we're a little over budget. All right, that almost held. All right, so it looks like just simply having the bridge catch them isn't as easy as I would think. We can't build a super strong bridge, but you know what we can build? A spring bridge. It shouldn't be a dangling road. That makes no sense. But maybe it does make sense. So let me just try a very simple dangling road. Um, we all saw that coming. Let me try just not attaching this then. We make it to here. And what if I just turn on the springs? And I just do a massive spring under support. Will it work? I mean, honestly, I have no idea. I'm gonna make this a steel because it's stronger than cables. Let's run this. Um, all right, it did a little bit of a better job at holding. It's just too weak. It uh dips. So what I almost want to do is have that detach. And if this doesn't break, we got something potentially going here. So let me try making these stretched. What happens when I catch the meters? Will the monster truck even be able to cross? Well, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But here's what I think is going to happen. Um, the monster truck has 20 horsepower. So it should be able to push them. But what I'm worried about is whether or not the bridge is strong enough. And if it's not strong enough, that's fine. I'll just add more stuff. Um, honestly, this is a step in the right direction. But I need to compress more in the middle. And then I'm going to start on a bit of a drop off here. Like this. Oh, God. Wait! Wait, wait, it can drive over the th balls. We can drive over the meteors at this rate. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We're gonna compress a bit more. But I feel like this is shaping up to have us drive over the meteors. That's what this entire thing's building up to. No! Well, that's fine. Let me attach this in a different spot. Okay, let's go back to 60%. Oh! <gasps> Yes? No, that falling's pretty bad. So what, do I need to have this stretch more or are these getting too terrible? How much does this weigh? Eight polygrams, that's not terrible. Okay, the sp springs on the bottom do get pretty stressed. Let's see, can I do like top trusses with springs? I probably need to change other stuff up with springs, but I'm no spring engineer, so I barely know what's going on. <gasps> this looks so good. Don't hit the water. No! All right, let me change up this. Let me raise this higher. And then let me have this be just a spring. So it should dangle lower. That's a break. Um, Do I care? A little bit. What broke? That spring? Let me get rid of this. And then let me stretch this just a tad. And then let me have this go up a bit. This is 30% stretched. So this will also be 30% stretched. And this will also be 10% stretched. No! What if this is 20%? <gasps> okay, back to it not breaking. Okay, it's driving? Come on! Don't get stuck! It's stuck. Okay, this is a weird problem for me, because it just has to do with the way the meteors are falling. I can't traverse that. That's just not traversable. Alright, let's build up a catch here. Um, okay, no, this needs to be compressed. <gasps> oh, that's drivable. I changed the compression on the outermost spring. Will it make it up? Come on, you got 20 horsepower. Put it to good use. That's close though. Let me keep tweaking this. What's well, my opinion on frogs? Frogs are pretty cute, but I don't have too much of an opinion on frogs. But you know what I do have an opinion on? Frog legs. Frog legs are served at so many restaurants. And every time I like go out for you know dinner with friends and we see frog legs on the menu, at least one person's like, wow, frog legs, so interesting. But let me tell you, the most bland food imaginable. It's like either a mix of like, ew, that's gross, or like, ooh, I kind of want to try that. But it tastes like fucking nothing. 
I, I swear the sole reason that frog legs are on the menu of any restaurant is for shock value. That's it. There's no other purpose here. That's true. They probably could go with some better spices. But I mean, is there a spice that screams, yes, I'm eating frog right now? I don't know. I can't think of anything. This looks so good, though. Everything except for this one piece. What if I get rid of this road? Can I get rid of this? Are those even needed? Mmm, I guess they're not needed. It still works without it, but we still... Wait, wait, this has... Pro oh. Let's compress this a little bit more, see how that changes things. And honestly, let me compress this a bit more. <gasps> Maybe? There's no massive change in height this time. This is the most promising one yet. Come on. Oh, please. No! What a terrible outcome. That's so good looking, though. We can lower this, and then we can compress this a bit more. If I compress this more, it should hopefully be less steep, and it should be more easy for it to make it up the hill. It breaks. Maybe I need just... You know what? Maybe I just need a longer and better catch over here. How about this? Just a longer catching road? Yeah, you know what? We can make the catching road even longer. Maybe the more the catching road helps, the less we'll have to worry about it tipping backwards. I might need springs here, huh? Possibly? I mean, I might need to spring it up. Let's be real. Steel might not be strong enough here. The road broke. Um, well, that could be fixed by muscling. Or not, sorry, uh, by springing. So, well, let's run that. Like, this middle section is so good. It's exactly what I want. But I just have to have the catch be optimal. And I'm set. <gasps> yes! 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 Not even a break! We got it over! Oh my god, that was close! Uh, it's not cheap that people get their nets. Oh. Sorry, the cheapest one is a freaking <laughs> symphony of spring cannons. And then this somehow makes it to his flag. Listen, I get it. You're horny, but those are rocks basket case a difficult weave all right so what more falling objects huh huh it looks what we have eight roads so we can't just build a bridge across so something's different we have a gap of seven meters are we supposed to do the same thing again i feel like it's the same level because we just caught the roads uh, hold on, let me, let me look at the solutions. If it's exactly the same thing, I'm cool with, like, not doing it again. Oh, you know what? This one's a little bit different. Okay, I... Alright, no, this this is definitely different. Well, let's see if I can run it real quick. So, here's what the gallery is saying. You can put Jamma Road, like, basically in between this area here of the Pentagon, and it'll catch it kind of cleanly. Yeah, so this is like a symmetrical version. So we basically just need to super brace this. I'm still going to do it kind of similarly, though, with the whole compressed triangles and all that. And having these stretch like 20, 30 percent. Right, so this is the general idea. Is it going to work? Oh! No, it's got to dip lower! The, the catch was actually really good. The catch was sick. We're just going to build roads here. <laughs> we have extra roads, so let's just use them. Yeah, so now I've made a little ramp that should hopefully take us to the top of these. All right. Um. Um. Maybe? <laughs> I have my doubts. Wait, it's back up. All right, let's have this compress less so it goes lower. Even less. And you know what? Let's have this compress a little. Like, this last section here at the end just needs to dip down. Oh, that was the closest one yet. Alright, we're getting somewhere. 20%. 30%. Choosing Pentagons is evil? Honestly, I think it was pretty helpful. Yeah, because honestly, it's not too bad at all. I think they even made for a cleaner bridge. So, sure, this bridge was an example of you can copy my homework, but don't make it too obvious. But regardless, it was still pretty fun. I had a good time with it. It was, you know, we've mastered the art of Pentagon catching. So I'd say we're pretty good overall that. Like, way fewer people beat this level than the previous one. While it might be because it's a similar idea, it's also because you can't use spring cannons. So that deterred the massive cheesers. Alright, this is a level I've been excited for. Level 14, the Mothership. 